Hello everyone, Flying Utsu here and welcome back to EU3S Holland for 5 more years. Because when this core comes in we can form the Netherlands and then we are going to get some cores around. Uh, form the Dutch nation, we just need to have a core in Friesland and when we do this we get cores on Vlaanderen, Breda, Zeeland, Holland, Utrecht, Gelder, Friesland, Limburg and Antwerpen. So all of my vessel of Brabant but also in Gent and... Uh, oh not Gent I guess. No, Gent is not in this list, so only Vlaanderen. But we can use that one to uh, attack Burgundy. We also get two extra centralization, and we become the Netherlands, and we get an extra base tax. Now I've been looking around, and apparently we can get more magistrates when I have more sphere of influence members, I think. It's saying now plus 0.05, so let's see what happens if we put more people in our sphere of influence. Uh, the only thing that you do is, uh, when someone is trying to attack them, you will be called in. If I do this... Yeah, it's going up. So, I want to get these, because I need all the, all the magistrates. Are you already in my sphere of influence? Uh, yes, Holland sphere of influence, you as well, you are my vessel already, so let's put you in my sphere of influence. And I know is my vessel as well, so let's put them in my vesselage sphere as well. And now we are getting plus 0.2 for the magistrate thing. I like that. We also get way more merchants because of our coastal centers of trade. But that is really nice. And the monopolies give plus one. Um, how many monopolies do we have? We have four monopolies, so I guess you get 0.25 per monopoly. So that's really nice as well. And we're getting a bit more colonists. Uh, and these are the most important things. We don't get any missionaries. But we don't need it. Yes, they are Protestant, but they have this modifier. That is going to take a really long time before uh, we can convert them. So, Oh, it's over here, actually. Until 1531. Okay. It's a new recording session. Let's unpause the game and let's see what we were going to do. Yeah, we're still colonizing the things to get less colonies in our queue. Uh, we have colonized Sierra Leone in the Grain Coast. And we will colonize all of this to stop um, Portugal and Castile a bit. Now we cannot get rid of this one unfortunately, because there are already 600 people and there are almost no natives, so... Bloody Castile has discovered gold. Are you kidding me? Don't tell me there's all gold over here. No. Okay. You're just very lucky Castile. Uh, I still want to annex all the of the creek and the Maya, and then we have to go to war with the Inca. They should have s ha they should have so much money. I mean, you should really go there. Um, and what I was doing as well is looking around for the best colonies that are available for us right now. And apparently, there is a seven base tax colony in Sayul Tacas or something like that. I don't know which region this is in uh, these days of Mexico, but apparently, it's really good. There's uh, seven base stacks here. So that's really nice. Uh, of course we have this region in America. So if you go further here. And you go towards uh, Manhattan it's six. Connecticut is five. Unami is five. Lenape, Delaware is five. Conoy is five. And, and Pohatan is six. So I want to colonize this part of the Chesapeake Bay. And have my Dutch um, America. North America. Well we already have South America over here. Uh, what I also want to do is colonize these things here. We have six base stacks in Banda Oriental and Rio de la Plata. And I absolutely want to colonize these so that I get a bit more range around the world. And of course we will take the Incas down. And we should not forget to colonize Havana because there's also seven base stacks. So uh, we should colonize those soon-ish. Uh, we still have Infamy. I think I want to uh, let that go down. We have two spies, but I don't think we're going to do anything with them. Now we have one, two, three colonies that are at nine. So we don't spend, uh, send any colonists there anymore. Uh, the next colonist will be used for an explorer. So we can explore the uh, west coast of all of uh, the north of America. I think that's a great plan. Uh, we could start trying to annex uh, Brabant. We do get more infamy though. The thing is, do we want to do this right now or before we become the Netherlands? I'm not sure. And there we go, we can change our slider. And you have a good chat of Diplo annexing Munster. 
Okay, so we could we could get these four provinces for Munster, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this. I want to keep a bit of a role playing game and taking the Dutch lands only in the in Europe and not the German lands. Now, when we form the Netherlands, we are also going to go towards centralization with two steps. So we will go uh, from here, and then two steps here. We are having a limit of minus three, so we can still do one centralization tick. And then when we form the Netherlands, we are at the limit. And when we do this, well, when we have maximum centralization, you get all these boosts. Profici uh, production efficiency, taxation, inflation goes down, more magistrates, uh, more spy defense nationally. So, you absolutely want to go towards centralization. But as you can see, then you get those revolts all the time. That's fine, because right now we get all these bonuses. That's going to give us a lot more money and a lot more magistrates. Uh, do we still have level 1 forts? No. Do we have any good manpower buildings? Not really. Do we have any good production buildings in Utrecht? I think that's fine. We are going to build a uh, textile mill there at some point. So Let's get those production buildings. And we should easily kill all of them. There we go. Boom. We have no leader. Do we have a leader available? No. Oh well. Uh, we're still trying to get our Monopoly in Antwerpen. Apparently uh, they, they kicked us out. Interesting. There we go. We have our Monopoly back. Now we have five Monopolies. And five Monopolies give me... Apparently still one extra merchant. I don't know. Maybe it's just stopping at one Monopoly. Interesting. But yeah, we are done. We have our monopolies and then we can send some them somewhere else. So let's take a look here. Still want to try Lubeck because the value there is insane. I mean, it's so cheap to send them over there. Maybe we should just keep trying. Wait, why are they, why, why are they not going there? Oh, because we are losing money. Holy shit. Oh, my military, yeah, yeah, we are uh, doing reinforcements with our army. That is why it's so, uh, so expensive, I think. More decisions in Friesland. What is that decision? Return this to uh, the HRE leader, though. Hmm, not sure why they are not uh, sending the merchants, really. We do have some nice money in the bank, right? Oh, well. Uh, we're going to get a core on this province here soon. 1512. That could maybe increase our range. And with that range, I would love to colonize these islands to get the range towards Indonesia. Hopefully. Uh, there are no other colonizable provinces than this one and these islands and uh, this region. Of course, we have the Maldives. That should be further away as well. And then there are only a couple of provinces that you can colonize in Indonesia. So we might have to just take it all down. Let's get Explorer. That is a decent Explorer. And let's see when this one is gonna die. My goodness. Let's discover a bit more here. Hopefully. I think the higher the maneuver skill, the quicker you uh, discover all the things. These provinces are horrible to colonize. Three is actually decent. Coast of Oregon. Oh, not a seven base stacks. Holy shit. There's some good provinces over here. Five. Huh. I have another magistrate. What are we gonna what are we gonna magistrate? Maybe I should just take a look at my home provinces and then decide what is important. Antwerpen is my most important province, so maybe we should just build it up here. The canal gives just trade income plus ten. Then plus one and movement speed. We don't really care about that. Should we should start building level two forts over here. Get more missionaries chance and stuff as well. So that's good when we want to convert it back to Catholic. Let's get level two forts in uh, the Netherlands. Okay. Finding more stuff here. 
Voor de alle in Yakutak. Colonizable Horrible Province. Guess we are now going to find Alaska. Yes. Can we go here? Yes. Let's see how far we can go. Before we have to return home. And apparently they don't send more. And that is anno very annoying. When you put this on green, they don't go for the Monopoly. You have to click all the time. To me that sounds very tedious. Priplov Island? I wanna know what that is. Where is Priblov Island? Oh, that is just a sea tile calling himself that name. Okay, let's go here. I don't think there's anything over there, right? Or do we find the Russian uh, part already? No, we have the Chukch Sea, so... Uh, we have to go back immediately, otherwise we are going to die. What is this? Come back. Okay. Now we get a bit more manpower, so I think I'm gonna build up my army a bit more. I'm not gonna build more cannons there. Too expensive and I don't think they are very good. Let's get uh, four more cavalry. Cavalry is still very strong. Okay, we're gonna make it home at least. Finding a bit more things on the way. We have a truth with the creek and the Maya, so we cannot really attack them. Maybe we should actually go towards the Inca right now. Before someone else does, right? What is the revolt risk here? It's still 10%, 10%. But we have the fort built, so... I'm just going to try it, I guess. Let's go to the Incas. Before it goes to someone else. So this will stay for Portugal, I guess. When they're going to colonize here, I will just send my spy and kill it off. And we are going to keep building our level 2 forts. There we go. And am I going to do something with my... Yeah, they're not sending it here. Maybe they're not sending it here because the chance is too low. It could be a thing, right? Should we just send it to Malacca? Yeah, they're not going. I'm just losing too much money, I think. And the game then doesn't want to. Scotland is becoming uh, part of England, most likely. So we are going to farm. Uh, we are going to see Great Britain in this game as well. Now with this army, I feel pretty confident that we can do a lot of damage. This island is done, and that is really handy. But we have to build a level one fort here. We have built it on all these islands. You are not ready yet. You are ready. Yeah, there are almost no natives there. Uh, I do. St oh, this is unacceptable because this is Dutch a uh, Dutch colony, and I want it. So we will incite the natives here. We have only forty four percent chance, but they succeeded, and they didn't do anything. So there are not enough natives there. Portugal, we will be at war. Not right now, though. Damn it, Portugal. Does the game just know that this is normally a Dutch colony? And then they just, then they just take it away from you? I think that is what is happening. The game knows. <laughs> Nice, Puerto Rico is also ready. This will help with our income a bit. Well, actually a lot. Oh, because my armor maintenance is lower again. Mm -hmm. And are we still going to focus on land technology? Yes, because we want to be ready for the war against uh, Burgundy when we have our core. I think. Yeah, let's just keep focusing on it. And let's no, no longer get inflation. Or maybe a little bit, like this. We're still fine. There's the Reformation. Um, in Lorraine. 
Okay, that is the other religion thing. There it is, the orange one. Oh wait, no, they are orthodox. Here. What does reformed give? It gives you trade efficiency. It lowers taxation. You get the colonists that you get from Catholic as well. So we might go reformed then. Uh, missionary strength. 10% more colonial growth. And we have... Yeah, I think we are going uh, reformed. Oh my god, we are gonna lose 5 stability? Oh. oh, why would I not pick the act of uniformity? Sure. That's a nice bonus. Well, I'm not gonna go reform now because I can't convert the things anyway. I don't think you get a bonus in this game. When you switch. You do get it in EU4. Not in this one. America looks a bit weird on this map. It, it looks way too curved in my opinion. Do you guys agree? It should go a little bit like here. It looks so weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go to the Incas and take all their money. They should have a lot of money. No. Uh, let's keep trying our monopoly. We have a colonist available. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna finish something off or are we gonna try to uh, take those big provinces? Maybe we should take those big provinces. Havana. Let's get these seven base tag provinces. We don't have to babysit here. Five aggressions over 50 natives is uh, not needed. Let's get them before they are gone. And of course, when I want to go away, we get this. Luckily for us, we can quickly use the ships here. Boarding on the ships goes quicker than uh, going over land. I guess that makes sense. We'll kill them off quickly. Boom. And then we will go back on the boat. We are going to keep building the level 2 forts, I guess. Oh no, we have a level 1 forts to build. Always build the level 1 forts. There we go. You guys are gonna go on the boat as well. Uh, should I give them a... Kiss the door. Well, we don't have the money for it, so no, I guess not. There we go, and you guys are going over here. I'm gonna attack the Incas. Yeah, we still have a lot of infamy. I know. How does this work? Will France like me or help me or Burgundy? Because they are guaranteed. I need to know how that works. Otherwise, I cannot attack France. I think France will go against us. So, then we can really not take our course. <laughs> Which is going to be so annoying. Just disorder. So, we keep the colonists plus one when we go reformed. The missionary is... is I don't need the diplomats and I don't really need the colonists chance. Well, maybe. But the reformed religion gives better bonuses, in my opinion. The trade efficiency is better for us. We make so much more trade than taxation. I think that's gonna stay that, that way for a very long time. The missionary stays. We just get less diplomats. That is fine. We really get more colonial growth. Yeah, we all absolutely want to go reformed really suits the Netherlands. I guess the religion is based on... Uh, the Dutch a bit. 
because the Dutch were reformed for a long time, I think. But they were also Protestant, so not sure there. All right, they have closed their market to us, not not for long. Uh, colonial conquests. I am not going to call in anyone. Maybe should have waited a bit longer, but it's too late now. We are going to land over here. Surprise! Yeah, I know. Uh, level one fort, and we have no more money. We can raise the war taxes. But yeah, we have to uh, start getting more minting done. Ah, oh, I always forget to right click. Do it like this. That should do it. Our colony in the Cape has grown to a self sustaining province. Unfortunately, it's a very bad one, with almost no tariffs. Because we have a grain over there. Damn it. Okay, you guys are over there. Uh, let's not do it like this. Let's split them in half. I think they do have a decent amount of troops. And these ones have to go back now. Uh, no, I don't. I have this one now under my control. So let's go here. And we are going to keep a Karak over here as a patrol boat. Patrol. Patrol these three sea tiles. We're gonna take, of course, the whole coastline. That we can hopefully uh, keep everything for ourselves. Let's try to finish off this army. Land technology 17. There we go. And should I continue to land tech 18 or is it ahead of time? It's 6 years ahead of time. But it is a very good tech though. Hmm. Let's check the other ones. Level 17 gives us an, another idea. I think that is a really good way to focus on. Let's get that new idea. Which one I'm gonna pick then? I think the I, I think the tariffs. Or trade efficiency, or the, the the colonial one. What is it? Global colonial growth? Nah, maybe. Or the yearly colonists. I think I want that one. Yeah. So many good ideas we can still pick. I want the extra colonist. Okay, they keep running away, unfortunately. And I guess my patrol can already start patrolling. Because that is Hope Waters. Yeah. People are trying to spy on us. Yeah, and there we go. They are uh, trying to take this back. Takes a really long time for us to move around. Level 3 Navigator. Alexandria, let's try to... Oh, 43%? Oof, maybe I shouldn't have sent that one over there. Oh well. Too late. Can I kill you before you go away? No, where are you going? Over there? Okay, now I should take them down, I think. Yeah, there are even more troops. Let's fight them. Extra colonists. Uh, nine, eight. Should we just let's? Um, yeah, let let's take those seven base tech provinces that I found around the map. So this one, I can't. It's too far away. Um, I don't think I found any other seven. No, no. Oh wait, there is some other province that is having seven. I'm sure about it. These ones are not. That is six and six, but I would love to get those. Five. Where did I find that one? I thought I had another seven. Well, maybe not. 
these ones don't have any natives right yet. I'm gonna go and take um, these two, I think. Wait, when do we get the core here? Next month? Let's wait for till next month. Maybe I can colonize one of these islands to get more range. No, I'm not gonna white piece you. Are you kidding me? Port level 1. Uh, we should win. You, where are you going? Somewhere up to a province that I don't know, okay? Where are you going? Over here. Let's discover these provinces, but you have to discover them anyway. And let's see how much money you have. Okay, I think we are going get to get rich, guys. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <coughs> oh, the coughing is still not over. How long is that gonna take? I have no idea. Why are we not sending any merchants? Why are we not sending any merchants to Malacca? Why? Oh! I did enable this message over here. Now I get it. Now I get it. Now they are getting sent. Okay, bye. We've gained the core province in Calabar and we have rebels. Oh, where did you come from? I will come after you soon, I guess. It's so annoying to just keep sending all the troops around the world the whole time to deal with this. Well, I do have two over here. Let's uh, send these ones out. To help with the rebels. They should win. Okay, we have our colonial core now. Can we reach the island? No. Can reach this island. There are 9,000 natives. Oh, that is part of Madagascar. My god, you're, this is so terrible to colonize. Would love to go to one of these. I don't want to get rid of any of these, so... Hmm. It's gonna take a long time, and this one also. We just need to wait for the colonial range and then we can take it. We just need more naval tech. Let's colonize something else then. Should we get our colonial foothold over here? Let's finish off these ones first. Let's see if we can win with my two units against their two units. Get all these trade stations, that is really nice. Where are you going? Yeah, kill. Okay, the natives are fighting some... Uh, Rebels over here. Land traditions scorned. We can lose 20 army and gain 10 or we lose 5. Uh, let's lo just lose 5 army tradition then. Any more level 1 forts? No, but I also don't have enough money I think. Yeah, there are all the rebels again. You guys are done. Maybe you should try to discover all of this and then come back. Oh, they have uh, taken back the territory. Do, 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 do. 
Do, 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 do. And we are finding the Gulf of Alaska and Alert. Okay, this is all of Alert, and that is the only colonial possible colony over here. Okay. Government Tech 16, we can now build the university and we have a banker. What does the university give again? I did check this already. I think that's a manufacturer. Oh yeah. Growth and government tech investments. There are better special buildings. Okay, the this is one whole province. That is really interesting. Uh, you can s discover a little bit more, I guess. We have discovered Pooh, no? Let's go to Cusco. Split in half. One of you go there, one of you go there. We need 100 war score. I want 4000 money. Congo! Well, looks like we have to take care of some rebels here as well then. Boas Ridge. And if I go one further... Are we then at the... Why did you stop? What? Oh, it's a visual bug. Okay. And then we really have to go back, otherwise we die. The bearing say, yeah. So I think now we are close to uh, the Russians or something. Wait a minute. Oh, I think the game is a bit... There's a big visual bug going on over here. Wow. Let's come back home instantly before you all gonna die. Get on the boat, and we will go to Congo. Okay, so apparently they do go and try to get a monopoly when you put it on green. Because there is one going here now. Okay. Good to know. Sap attack. Oh my god. Oh, hello. That's not good. And they're running away. Sixty percent only. Okay, no level one forts. We are going to get so much money. We could just invest everything, really. More production. Uh, let's get all the production buildings in Friesland. Colonist available. Yeah, I think we are going to get these six base tax provinces over here. These two plus this one. Rio de Plata and Serranos. We won't, we won't take more in that region, we just take those three as a uh, bit of a base around the map. Okay, we are of course winning. Where are you going now? This province, apparently it is called Kaga something. You guys can patrol this. Even more revolts. Uh, you guys need to take care of that one. We have to go back over here soon. I don't have the 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 support limit to make a bigger fleet. All the three stations are gone again. 
trading in some stuff again. Hmm. Ow, it takes forever to discover all these things, does it? They're almost there. I'm not gonna get 4,000. I guess they are building, they are trying to make mercenaries or something. But I'm gonna get a lot of money and I will take one or two provinces. Maybe I'll take five, it depends on how expensive they're gonna be. My god, man. Look at all these horrible rebels over here. National Bank in trouble. We are not going to get that inflation. Let's make sure that we don't get a loan. Loans are very expensive. Can you get here first? No. Where are you going? Here? Do you stop now moving? Can I get you now? Yes, I can. That must be almost 100%. 95%. There we go. I cannot take this province because it's not siege down. So let's wait until we have that one. You're not gonna move? You're not moving. Good. Yeah, I will come for you. How many natives are here? I'm thinking of just moving the troops. Nah. Should put them on a boat. Okay. That's 100, right? You could fully annex you for 9.6 infamy, or we take the coastline and all your money. Or we take less provinces and take more money, but how, we, how much is it? If I do this, 100 for a province. I think I'm going to take the coastline to block everyone else. And do this. Yeah. Thank you. That is amazing. I will build level 1 forts everywhere here. And I will... Leave some of these... Wait, was that I... Did I take... Pick the uh, center as well. Uh, how is this center of trade? It's going through what? Cajamarca. Here. It's a very bad one, so no. Don't think it's gonna do anything. Okay, I will have to leave. Oh! I will have to accept this. I want to keep my alliance, so we are at war with a lot of people now. Uh, we could raise the war taxes again. Yeah, we have almost no uh, stuff, so we will. We want to do this, and we can stop minting that much. Put this on hold and put the rest in the government. That will be the end for this video, guys. In the next video, we will uh, leave a token force here to deal with the rebels. Then we are going to take the rest of our fo uh, troops back to uh, to Mexico over here. Uh, what are you guys doing? Yeah, you are unseaching that one. Good. And uh, yeah, then we will continue with our game here. In the next episode, I think we're going to form the Netherlands. So stay tuned to that and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.